Sometimes, the biggest video games are a result of a dedicated advertising effort that takes years of organization and many millions of dollars. Then there are the viral video games that only dream of success, and some might expect it, but none dare reach as high as they eventually climb, exceeding any and all expectations. YouTube What's Good, see you later gaming here, bring you a brand new episode of Top 5. And in this episode we're going to take a look at some standout viral video games that reshape the way we look at entertainment. Whether you're a gamer or not, chances are you've either played or heard of at least one of these viral phenomenons. Coming in at number 5 to start us off, Among Us. Among Us is a great example of a viral game. Initially released in 2018, the game took some time to find its feet, with the game having between 30 to 50 concurrent players shortly after its launch, thanks to what the developer considered bad marketing. That was until COVID came along, paired with an initial boost from Twitch streamer Soda Poppin, as well as a vast range of content creators hopping on the hype wave to keep its following going. Snowballing to over 430,000 concurrent players, this sustained growth inspired the developer to provide massive updates and expansions in content. Talk about the right place at the right time. Next up at number 4, Getting Over It with Bennett Foddy. This game may be as hilarious in its concept as it is rage inducing. Many streamers gambled with their ability to climb a mountain using only a hammer and a surprisingly bouncy pot, and their resulting rage entertained thousands upon thousands of viewers, the most famous of which might be Markiplier, with the game getting the tag, the game that made Markiplier so angry he threw a chair. Okay, you know what? I'm done. 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 No, I'm not done. No, I'm done. No, I swear I was done. Oh, oh my god, I'm done. Oh god, fuck! No, oh my god. What makes this title so fantastic and most importantly viral was the frustration it built, paired with the weird and at times cringy motivational quotes said by the creator of the game, both as you progress and each time the player falls, only to add to the experience. It means a lot to me that you've come this far endured this much, every wisecrack, every insensitivity, every setback you've forgiven me is a kingly gift that you've given me. Getting Over It is said to also have inspired other games of a similar nature that reset your progress, such as Jump King and the 2023 streaming phenomenon, Only Up. At the halfway point with number 3, we have Slenderman. Born on the internet back in 2009, Eric Knudsen created the character Slenderman, via a competition in which users had to create paranormal images using Photoshop. The character included defining features of a tall, thin, faceless man added to black and white pictures of children, and added snippets of text suggesting their abduction and death. The now iconic character spawned a very bad movie and multiple games and stories, the most famous of which being indie horror game Slender The Eight Pages. Slender could be considered one of the most popular horror games of all time despite its low production value and status. And back in 2012, PewDiePie, the most popular YouTuber on the platform at the time, started a Let's Play series of the title, and his over-the-top reactions to the game's jump scares went absolutely viral, with the first video in the series garnering over 13 million views, leapfrogging the game's fame and virality on the internet. Coming in at number 2, Minecraft. Now one of the best-selling video games of all time, Minecraft was originally considered a silly experiment by some. It's a visually simple game that feeds off creativity and accessibility. It can be played by people of all ages and experience levels and offers both single and multiplayer modes on a range of devices. This allows for a wide range of gameplay possibilities, from simple building to complex collaborative projects. The game was so popular that Microsoft bought the company from founder Notch for $2.5 billion in 2014, just three years after the game's full release. Not bad for a little game from Sweden. And while some may debate its viral nature, Minecraft circles back to relevance every once in a while. Each time it does, that boost sustains the beloved game, helping it continue growing and expanding, which then fuels the creativity of its players to continue the cycle. Before we get to the number one spot, we have some honourable mentions, including... Wordle. Fall Guys. Phasmophobia. Coming in at the number one spot, we have... Pokemon Go. Augmented reality games were not new in 2016 when the game launched, but most games in the space lacked innovation and a big enough brand to draw people in. 
enter Pokemon Go, a viral video game on both Android and iOS that combined the brand's popular appeal with physical exercise and the need to go outside of the house in an effort to catch them all. In addition to catching Pokemon, you could collect eggs to hatch Pokemon, which could only be collected by walking set amounts. The game also included social elements, such as spinning Pokestops to collect items, attacking and defending gyms for your respective teams, and of course, trading between your friends. The virality of the game saw both gamers and non-gamers alike playing in harmony, in such a manner that the general population were more active than they had been before, with people meeting up and going out of their way to find Pokemon hotspots and even spending more time and money at local businesses who are located in and around key areas. Did your favourite viral game make the list? If so, give this video a thumbs up or let me know what yours is down in the comments below. And until next time, I'll see you later. Tap the bell icon after subscribing and you'll never miss a video again. And consider checking out my Facebook page as well for daily gaming updates and news. Thanks guys. 2023 was a massive year for genre-defying and record-breaking games, including The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom and Baldur's Gate 3. That being said, 2024 is shaping up to be just as big, with some well-known sequels, original IPs, and some we may not even know about yet. 